Living History Farms, a new concept in telling the story of progress in agriculture. On a site directly adjoining Interstates 80 and 35 near the center of Iowa, this concept is taking shape. At the end of July, the first Grain Harvest Festival brought hundreds of people to the farm site. People with an interest in how farming was done in the old days. Living History Farms' first pioneer farmer was there with his hand-built ox cart and a fine yoke of gentle but somewhat stubborn oxen. Interested spectators, free to wander and watch and talk, exhibiting the curiosity of the young and the nostalgia of the old. No ropes, they could go where they liked, when they liked. Stand as close as they wanted, take pictures. Probably nobody enjoyed the day more than the many participants who donated time and equipment to help relive the past. I always scared to do it, but boy, some of them guys could sure do it. Yeah. Well, I'll never forget one day they hooked a wagon on the back of another wagon and got two of them to go, and then they hooked the third one, and then was they ever fire fly <laughs> Now, those days, we'd do anything for a quarter. Look pretty big. Yeah. For the Iowa pioneer, the big iron kettle was essential. Here the woman of the house made soap, rendered lard, dyed cloth, made apple butter. In this area of living history farms, with a stream nearby and cropland for wheat and corn, the pioneer farmer is building his cabin and 
laying out a farmstead, complete with all the modern conveniences of the 1840s. The Pioneer Farm is the first of three actual operating farms. Later on, construction will start on a horse farm of the early 1900s, and following that, a farm of the future. But in this cabin and the surrounding area, the pioneer farmer and his wife will live and work in the manner and with the tools of the middle 1800s. The first grain harvest festival, it's a start. The kids had a chance to discover. The grown-ups had a chance to remember. Everybody had a chance to savor the methods of the past. It wasn't a hard day of flailing of the 1840s. It wasn't a full day of threshing, as many remembered from the early 1900s but it was a big day of enjoyment and experiences for both the participants and the observers. There will be more field days at Living History Farms as crops are planted, cultivated, harvested, and facilities develop. When the Pioneer Farm the horse farm and the farm of the future are finally in operation. Every day can be a field day for those interested in our agricultural heritage. A day to discover in the past. A day to recreate the feel of the times. And that's what living history farms are all about. <laughs>